Hi, I'm Karen Slewinski. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Northeast Ohio. Today I'm going to be making a card. We're going to feature the ridiculously awesome stamp set and one of my favorite tools from Stampin' Up! It's a stamp positioning tool and it's called a Stamparatus. So this is what the Stamparatus is. I do have a couple other videos planned to show you some more of the features, but one of the first things I'm going to show you is how they how you can do hinge stamping or repeat stamping. So we are going to take out from the stamp set this cute little heart and I have a piece of paper. It is white about one and a half inches uh, better move this out of the way. one and a half inches wide and I am just going to place this down and I'm going to use my grid lines to kind of hold it in place and I'm going to position this heart like I want it on my border. I'm going to close my cover. I'm going to press down. Now I'm going to use some ink. This is Magenta Madness. This is one of our new in colors. So I'm going to ink up my image and then I'm going to close my lid. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a press. Perfect. Now, one of the cool features is that this lid, which you saw me moving, has a hinge. I can move it over one hinge spot. I can re-ink my image, and I'm gonna press again. I'll lift it up, move it one hinge more, stamp it again. And then my images are perfectly aligned and perfectly spaced. And all I had to do was use the features of the Stamparatus. And then I think I'm going to do it one more time. Ink that up. Perfect. Now I like to use my chamois. I've cut it up into eighth or quarters actually. And I just clean off my stamp. I'm going to put my hinge back to its normal spot and I'm ready to do the next little cool feature with the Stamparatus. So I'm going to put this ink back and now I'm going to show you another great thing. Sometimes you want to do some embossing and you don't want to use just white or black. You'd like to use all of our beautiful Stampin' Up! colors. So what I have here is a oval. This is from our layering ovals. I think it's the second largest. And I'm going to take this You Are My Sunshine. And we are going to emboss this, but we're going to do it with yellow. And I don't have yellow embossing powder. So we're going to do it with clear. So I'm going to take my oval and the first thing I'm going to do is use my anti-static tool. And I'm going to just hold this down and I'm going to position my stamp on my oval and then I'm going to close and I'm going to stamp it in Daffodil Delight. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to ink it up and then I'm going to close and I'm going to give it a good press. So that looks very good. If I didn't stamp very well, I could just go ahead and ink it up and stamp it again. But since that looks good, I'm just gonna clean this off with my, with my chamois. And then I'm going to use a Versamark. So Versamark is a clear, sticky ink. Um, it does a lot of really good things, but most people are familiar um, for using it with their um, embossing powders and I'm gonna press that right over. Now we know it's gonna go exactly in the right space because we didn't move anything. Now I have some clear embossing powder and I just keep it in an inexpensive little plastic tub and so I'm going to spread my ink or my embossing powder over this shake off the excess. Okay, I'm going to set that aside. 
Now I'm going to grab my um, heat gun. Okay, so this is the heat tool from Stampin' Up. It has two settings, a one and a two. For embossing, you're going to want to have it on the heat setting number two. Um, if you needed to dry, say you were working with watercolors, um, then you could use it on one. So I'm going to turn this on and we are going to heat set this. And so what you're going to do is you're going to just move it around a little bit. Some people like to do it from the back. I like to do it from the front. And you're going to heat it until that powder melts. And you can see it. It's when the magic happens. And then you're just going to move it over. I'm going to turn this over so I can do the other side. And you just want to make sure all that embossing powder has melted. And it gets nice and shiny. Turn this off. So when you look at that, you can see the beautiful shine of that embossing powder. Now this is where you want to check it very well. And I see that I have a dull spot. I don't know if you can see that right here. That means that I did not emboss it or melt it in that section. I'm going to go back and add a little bit more heat and make sure it's all melted. And there I have beautiful Daffodil Delight that's embossed. So I'm going to move this out of the way and we are going to make our card. Now our card is going to be super fast. We've done all the hard work. So I have a half a sheet of cardstock, Whisper White, and I'm just going to fold that right in half. And I'm going to use my bone folder and give it a really nice crease. Now, when I did my panel of my hearts, I made it a little bit longer than I really needed it so that I could place my hearts so they were nicely positioned. So I'm going to just go ahead and mount this with a little bit of our multi-purpose glue right along the edge of my card. And I really like having the glue because it gives you a little bit of that wiggle room. Oh, not too much wiggle room. Okay, I'm gonna give that a good press. And you can just use your paper snips. And trim off the end. Okay. Then I have this piece of paper from DSP. Um, this is the Flowers for Every Season DSP pack. And I'm going to add some glue to this. Mm, looks like my glue is starting to run out. So this is just going to go, it's a three inch wide, and it's going to go right up against that edge. And then I have some of our ribbon. This is some of our in color ribbon. So I am just going to add a little bit of trim to this edge. So I am going to take off. I probably have about 12 inches or so. And I'm just going to Get this moved over a little bit. And everyone says it's very hard to tie a tie a knot on camera or tie a bow. I guess I'm gonna find out. Okay, and then I'm just gonna move that right to that border. Trim this off a little bit. And then the last thing we have to do, and if you can adjust this if you want, the last thing we're going to do is pop up our oval. I'm going to use some dimensionals. I'm going to say you're probably going to want four or five of them. Peel off our backings. And then position that 
right on your card. And there we have our card. So we've used the Stamparatus. We used the hinge stamping or the repeat stamping feature. We've used it to help us emboss in bright colors because we're using clear over another stamped image. And we made a really fast, beautiful card. I appreciate it if you would share this video and give me a thumbs up or a like. And then if you need to do any shopping, I would love to have your business. Um, you can use my current host code here and visit my blog, which is thepowerofacard.blogspot.com for more details. I'll have all the measurements and all the products that I use today. Thanks again for watching.